Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Wednesday. It is the Earth Master out here. About uh, 9.50 a.m. California time, September 25th, 2024 is the date. Latest activity here on the Earthquake 3D globe shows a 4.7 around the Philippines. Notice uh, we got a pretty good swarm of earthquakes there in the 3 range happening there in the last 24 hours. So a little hot spot. Uh, in that region with earthquake activity, we'll get to the rest of the globe here in a little bit. Want to chat about real quick or chat a little bit about Category 1 Hurricane Helene. Now officially a hurricane, it is expected to rapidly intensify here over the next 24 hours. Goodness, uh, into a major hurricane, Category 3, maybe 4. There is hurricane warnings in effect here across the area of Florida in the red. Also some tropical storm warnings there across the rest of the area in the blue. So um, right now 80 miles per hour move, movement here at about uh, 10 miles per hour to the north northwest. Now that's uh, going to change here fairly rapidly as it gets caught up in the uh, upper level environment and the, um, the uh, weather patterns out here. Going to take more of a northerly track um, before making landfall there around the panhandle of florida let's check out the latest radar imagery or the uh, infrared imagery of the satellite based notice uh, starting to look a little more well defined again once it gets away from this land here this little uh, channel then uh, we can uh, see that thing really start to rapidly intensify it is expected to get up into the category three strength a lot of these weather models though trending uh, you know around the category four as well so we won't know 100% certain, right? You can't accurately predict what a hurricane's going to be, where it's uh, as far as the strength-wise go. Uh, but we'll definitely watch that. Uh, definitely, def definitely a lot of concern here in terms of the storm surge potential, and uh, obviously, you know, you get wind speed in there as well, right? Goodness. Look at this flash flooding potential here. They even have a high risk category up here across areas of Tennessee. Now, someone mentioned here in the comments below uh, a couple videos back saying that Tennessee needs some rain. Well, there's definitely some rain headed your, uh, into your area. High risk here of some flooding in the purple, kind of a pink purple color here. Uh, and uh, moderate risk, which is still fairly uh, significant here in the red. Peak storm surge out here is going to be a big deal across these very low uh, lying areas of the Florida coast 12 feet plus across these areas here in the purple uh, They are evacuating this area and uh, if the local law enforcement there is telling you to get out probably best To get out and away from this area more inland uh, either way. This is going to be a pretty significant Event and we'll continue to watch the um, strength of this hurricane there's all sorts of maps here uh, in, uh, where you can find information at in terms of uh, storm surge and flooding map and whatnot, but uh, we're not going to go into local activity, but uh, it's all over the place. NOAA has it, Weather has it, uh, Hur National Hurricane Center has it as well. So we'll be uh, watching that pretty closely throughout the day. Earthquake activity here across California. Well... Uh, one earthquake from yesterday in terms of 2.5 and above the microquake activity out here uh, generally light last night uh, and it looks like a little bit more this morning in the Fontana area in Southern California seen a, a little bit of earthquake activity uh, a handful of earthquakes there from yesterday as well mostly smaller microquakes and a little separate swarm down here near the Ocotello Wells area with some earthquakes from yesterday and today. As of right now, though, things are, you know, it looks like any given day out there across Southern California in terms of earthquake activity, but we'll continue to watch it. We get these little periods of quietness and uptick here that come and go. Uh, across the Washington area, uh, a little bit of swarming going on up there, and the earthquakes appear to be getting a little bit larger here with a 2.6 earlier this morning. Now, that brings up the total tally to over 100 earthquakes. Uh, near the uh, ridges here, Yakima Ridge, eastern side of this mountain range, uh, near Desert 
desert air area. Desert air area, it looks like. Uh, desert, <laughs> desert air. Um, this 2.6 that struck this morning, I believe, is going to be, well, second largest. Uh, 2.9 here a few days ago. And a little uncertain on to what this is pointing to or what this is leading, leading to. Uh, someone mentioned here in the comments recently that they've noticed some type of gas smell out here. Um, so that's obviously not a good sign if we got gassing going on uh, from the area below. Degassing, I should say. But uh, well, don't know yet. I don't want to jump to conclusions, but we'll keep an eye on it. Um, it is a ways up there. But if this uh, continues to swarm like that, I may take a trip up there and investigate the area. It's off of the highway in the mountain range, but I'm sure uh, a little hike back there wouldn't be too bad. I got my plate, uh, my menu, fairly busy this week here. So I'll be down in Southern California here tomorrow uh, investigating the uh, landslide activity here recently. And... Um, around the Rancho Palos Verdes area and also the Malibu Coast Fault up here. We'll be checking out a couple different uh, areas, talking to a few folks. So check that out for tomorrow. We'll be going live, uh, I'm sure, a couple times out there. At least. So make sure you have your notification bells clicked on so we, you can get notified when we go live tomorrow or any other time. Oil fields across Texas getting hit fairly good, uh, fairly nicely. You know, it's that's just one of those things. Uh, Texas is uh, now earthquake country. Uh, there is some fault systems out here, but uh, the majority of these are out in the oil fields that have been poked holes, uh, poking holes in the crust out here and creating uh, a lot of earthquakes out around these oil pumping operations, fracking pads, wastewater injection facilities, you name it. There's uh, a lot of earthquake activity around these fields and a uh, relationship between the two uh, is almost solidified in terms of 100% possibility or probability. Uh, the oil boom out here, that's when the earthquake activity started to kick up. And that will continue. Some of these earthquakes can get rather large as well up in the upper five range. So, uh, well, yeah, just stay on guard out there. Texas, beautiful. I love Texas. But, man, everywhere you turn, everyone's got an oil uh, pump in their yard. It's like, really? Goodness. <laughs> Crazy. All right. Middle America Trench area, a couple of smaller earthquakes there from last night in the Middle America Trench. You see that older activity there on the globe. Not a whole lot of newer movement here today, uh, nor down south along the South America region of the Peru Chile Trench. Newer activity here into uh, just shy of the South Sandwich Trench here. That's going to be on the, um, the plate boundary here of the Antarctica. And uh, in this case, it looks like it's going to be the um, South America plate. There. Where'd my image go here? There we go. Uh, right about here. Here's the subduction zone of the South Sandwich Trench right here. But roughly right in here is where we're seeing that current earthquake activity. Nothing big. Just a, a newer quake here today. Up into the Alaska area, a handful of earthquakes. Stretching all the way up towards Denali, even way up here towards the nose, uh, Brooks Range area. Not a whole lot for 2.5 and above, just general microquake activity out there today. Japan Trench from yesterday. Not a whole lot of activity stirring up here across the western area of the Pacific Plate. Fairly quiet out here for now. Some movement down in New Zealand, 4.7 around the Vanuatu area. Overall, you know, one would suspect this is just any typical day on a planet that has uh, plate tectonics out here. 4.6 out um, oh, eastern Turkey area, it looks like. Yep, right about here on the plate boundary, Lake Van. That's from this morning for a 4.6. Space weather activity. Can we see the other sunspots yet? Let's see. Ooh, man, look how active it's getting over here. Goodness, look at all these magnetic arches and lines. That's a for sure sign there. We're getting ready to see some activity pop. Um, and that is coming off of a number of sunspots. That's uh, coming off the eastern limb here, southeastern limb. Let me zoom in here a little bit. There's our first area 
Our second area looks like it's just starting to show a little bit. Um, goodness, these other regions here look like they've dissipated uh, quite rapidly. But there's this sunspot area capable of producing some stronger flares. And then behind that, there's another sunspot area. And that uh, is visible here on the far side. Watch. Uh, here's our one that has the stronger flare potential right now. And then there's another one. I, this is from yesterday. So I don't think we're just barely seeing, maybe barely seeing some of the magnetic structure above the sunspot area uh, that's on the eastern limb. So this is a uh, far side. This is the earth facing side. The eastern limb, western limb would, would be back over here on a flat scale model. So these sunspots are drifting further over to the right, which would be to the west. So we'll definitely keep an eye on those sunspot areas. They look uh, fairly active. Elevated threat right now for an X flare, 25% chance. M flare, 55, and C flare around 99% chance or so. A little bit of aurora conditions here throughout the evening. Uh, amplification up around the G1 class storm, it looks like. Uh, earlier this morning, late last night time period. Now that was forecasted. Still could see some unsettled conditions here linger through the evening. As they are, um, you know, it still looks like it's holding steady there in terms of the consistency of the KP index. But really nothing major in the forecast here for now. Severe weather. Um, tomorrow's going to be a bigger day. Uh, once that hurricane uh, hits the Florida area and brings with it the convection band on the east side of that hurricane. Today, though, marginal risk for some severe weather ahead of that hurricane. Uh, tornado threat exists across a, a wide portion out here of the uh, southeastern area of the country, including Florida. 2%, not a big deal, but it still exists there. So just a heads up on those uh, storms that fire up. Wind and a little bit of hail damage as well. I've seen uh, Oklahoma, goodness, had a uh, bunch of hail, big time hail stirring up out there across the uh, Oklahoma City area. Looked like a lot of uh, damage being reported from that hail. Golf ball size hail. I think I've seen a little bit b uh, bigger ones, uh, bigger hailstones coming in. Uh, half dollar size hail, Cumberland City area. So, yeah, as you can see here, a lot of uh, hail reports. Kentucky, Oklahoma right here. Um, goodness, just some big, big time damage from that uh, hail activity yesterday. The hail threat is uh, limited today. Not a whole lot. Just a 5% chance here across the area uh, of a number of states, but really nothing big. Uh, real quick glance here at the next uh close approach asteroids here uh let's see where'd we go here did i diminish it huh interesting there's a uh, iceland am i not seeing it it looks like it disappeared here Oh, right here. <laughs> it figures, right? It's one of those things, right? When it's on the top of the list, like if you lose your deodorant or your toothbrush, it's normally right there on top of the shelf. And it just, it mind plays tricks on you somehow. I don't know. At least it does for me anyway. <laughs> uh, it's still somewhat early out here. I'm trying to get my brain into gear. Get into gears. Hopefully I have more than one gear. All right, 39-foot as, uh, asteroid here, a bus-sized. That's uh, not bad. Uh, it's a fairly large asteroid if you really think about it. But look at the distance here, fairly safe, uh, well over 500,000 miles. And the next uh, asteroid's out here even further. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's really nothing of concern right now, at least according to the ones that are being monitored and watched. So 
Seismograph stations out here, fairly quiet. Looks like Japan seeing a little bit of localized activity there. Um, nothing big. And they're really not even reporting anything there across Japan. Those look like really small earthquakes local to that seismograph station. But definitely a swarm out there across the Philippines area. Newer activity down south here. We'll just kind of keep an eye on today's events, see what happens. Anything can take place here at any given time and on any given day, obviously. So hope everyone has a good day. For Wednesday, we'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later on this afternoon. Take care.